Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, I'm doing a photo album, but you can make it a journal, okay? You do the same process for a journal, okay? But I wanted to show you a cutter. All I did was put this part of the box here and lined it up where I want it, how big I wanted it, and then I cut it, okay? And I took the ends off, because you know the ends. And all I did was put them in and I cut it, okay? And the same thing with the bottom. That way they're even. If you don't have a cutter, you can use a ruler. Just draw a line with a ruler and a pencil and make it straight and then cut it, okay? Or you can use a box knife, whatever you have, okay? But I got papers here that I fit in here. Some are big. They're all different sizes. Okay, to fit in there. See how nicely that fits in there? Some are bigger, some are smaller. I wanted to show you, I chose sky colors for spring, the sun for spring, because we need more sun. <laughs> and then I chose these two colors for the mud and these two colors for the tree. So it's all about the atmosphere and environment colors, okay? Because it is, after all, spring. Okay, I got this one, I already put a crease in it. I'm gonna show you these, how to put a crease. And if you don't have one of these, that makes creases, then just use what you have. Like, find a middle, easiest way to find a middle is to go like this, put them together, make sure they're even, and then go like that, okay? And then take a butter knife, put a ruler down, and take a butter knife and go like that, and you got your crease, okay? But if you have one of these, you probably already know how to do this. Just go where your crease is, I can't see. And go down. And don't worry, if, if you don't get it even the first time, it really doesn't matter to see the crease. You do this with a butter knife and a ruler. But if you don't get it right, it doesn't matter because this is going to be somewhere else when you put all these inside each other. It's not like you're going to be able to tell that one's longer than the other one unless you do it way off, but I doubt you will. Okay? So I just wanted to show you that. And these, you can use these for belly bands. You can decorate them, put cardstock on them, whatever you want to do. You can use them for belly bands because these will be left over once you cut them down to fit into your cover. You can use them for belly bands or a side pocket, a long side pocket. Okay? Belly band or side pocket or side pocket. Okay? Just decorate them up with whatever you have. Okay? Magazines, coloring pages, whatever you want to use, material, fabric, whatever. Okay? Okay, beautiful beings, I wanted to show you how I cut these. Those two are longer. These are like in the middle. These two and then these three are the same size, even smaller, okay? Because they're going right there on the spine. Okay? And they fit in there nicely. Okay? These two will be up just a little bit and that's fine but you're gonna push them down so they'll be sticking out of the bottom or, the, or you just keep them on the top. And then you can put like lace, ribbon, whatever you want on top of these to make them stick out. They won't be, side, be beside each other because I mix them all up, okay? Like I'll put a large one, then I'll put a medium one, and then I'll put a, when it's shorter in, okay? That's how I put them together, okay? See how much difference they are. Okay, so you just mix it up. All right, I wanted to show you that. So you can mix it up if you want. Okay, beautiful beings, in case you're wondering, some might say, well, how do you pick out what you're gonna use? I go through all my ribbons, my lace, even cupcakes, and I pick the same colors. Like white is in the sky, 
brown is in the trees. I don't know if I'll use this, but I like it. It goes with it. It's kind of an aqua blue, but it's kind of blue. I don't have much blues. I have this blue, this blue, and this blue. And our new blue. Okay. I have greens. I have dark green. I have bright green. I have this green. I have this green. Burlap. And then I have some fabric. I showed you this one. These are like springy because there's basically just leaves. I mean, there's a rose there, but I'm trying to do everything spring because everything is just starting to come up. I like this because it's brown, but we can break the rules a little bit. And I like this because there's birdie birds on it. This would be cute for a pocket. And I have one of our coffee to goes or tea to go or cocoa to go whatever your preference is I want that for a pocket and it's got the browns on it for the trees and I have these these remind me of rocks and then I have a lot of these I wish they had these in more colors I have this one and this one then I have this pocket and I have to do something with this pocket we're gonna have to cut out some print or something for it and glue it on and I have this I thought I had one that was I have these flowers I have ribbon I have this like the trees I showed you that I have more yellow I have lots of yellow it's gonna be bright and I have these green like the grass And I don't know if that went, kind of, don't really, because it's not a brown. And then, of course, the dollar tree lace. And these ones we got from Joann's. I like that because the color I picked for the trees, it goes with that. I have this. I have blue for the sky. I have two flowers. Just giving you ideas, beautiful things. I have this lace. It's brown like the trees. I like the trees from Joann's, from Joann's, ladybugs, the green, I like the grass, so I had to pick that. Then we have some lace, and then I have this, I think it's more of a light mauve, I don't know if I'll use this, but, and then shine bright, of course I want that in there, that stencil, and then this, remind me of the texture of the trees. Just giving you ideas, beautiful beings, okay? What you can use, just grab whatever matches, whatever theme you got going. Okay, I have chocolate brown. I decided I want to paint this chocolate brown. And I also decided I'm just gonna cut this off right at the seam of the beginning where you're supposed to bend it over because I'm just gonna leave it open like that. So I cut the bottom off so it don't look funny and I got chocolate brown metallic and I'm gonna paint it then we're gonna decorate a pocket then I'll end this video and then we can start somewhere start our next one just doing pockets for our pocket piles and then I have to do a video on of course what I'm gonna put on the cover and I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea, beautiful things. Just want to show you, you don't always have to put cardstock on these. Decorative paper. All right. And if you want, you don't even have to paint the whole thing you can, can leave blots of the cardboard do it whatever way you want and I'm gonna put this aside to dry and clean my hands and then we're gonna decorate the coffee cup a little bit okay beautiful beings I got my scrap bin 
I got these flowers here. These are from Dollar Tree, believe it or not, and they're under Perch and Vine. I noticed several things Perch and Vine, so that must mean there's more coming with Perch and Vine, hopefully. That'd be awesome. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna put some lace here. And then I'm gonna put that little stream of scrap there. This is scrap too. I think I want to trim this just a little bit more. So of course now I have more. Scrap. Just trying to figure out which way I want it to go. I don't want it to go that way. There. Not sure it goes over enough. get my fabric scissors out so I don't have a problem cutting this off. There we go. Using my scraps so they don't end up on the floor. <laughs> then I'm going to put slice from Dollar Tree down. I'm going to put it this way. I want it moved over more. And I want it up to cover that up. Just trimmed off. Then, of course, we have to trim that off. Then, move it down a little bit. That's what we got so far. Make sure you can see. And then, we gotta get a flower. I just want a white one to match the lace. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, sorry, beautiful beings. I just hit the camera. Holder. All right, let's get this one. Might as well show you all the flowers. It says you have you get twelve. One of the gems fell off, one of the flowers, this one, and you can see they're using hot glue, so there's gooey glue. So you get three big ones, and then the rest are small ones, and if you see this is a different kind of flower than that one, and these are all the same, minus the gem. You can even take the gems off if you don't like them and put what color gem you want. I think the silver goes with the brown, so I'm leaving that, but that one's supposed to be there. So you get two of them. They might all be different, I'm just showing you. And there's still, <sighs> there's cobweb super, or cobweb glue gun. <laughs> and these. Oh, here's another big one. So you get four big ones. Two of these, two of them. Can you see them all? Yes, you can. Them, and then, looks like another gem fell off. Or is that just extra? Nope, fell off that one. Okay, then you get two of these in this package, because they might all be different. And I got two of them. Three of them and two of them, one of each color. Okay, beautiful bangs. Like I said, they might be mixed up. You might not exactly get that. And I'm gonna take all the glue gun strands, cobwebs, whatever you wanna call them. And I don't like that glue right there. You see that glue right there, see that? So I'm gonna take this off. That's why I don't like glue guns. But that's just my preference. I'm taking focus. I'm 
taking the glue gun glue off. And there, now it looks a lot better. I'm gonna take my Lana's and I'm gonna put some glue here and re-glue this gem, the clear gem. Make sure it's in the middle. It looks like it is. I could have put something behind that too. Hmm. What can I put behind it? Even if I had a little piece of fabric, I need to decide before. Here, boom. I could just make it look circle-y. So let's do that. Let's do that here for me. Circles a little bit, just a little bit. I kind of should have started on the other side because I like that fray. Because we're just gonna fray it again. <laughs> we're just gonna fray it again. Get that fray look. put that behind it. That. I might need more glue now. Make sure it's metal. Stand up. Put it right in the middle like that. And there we just added a little layer, another little extra layer our flower. I got glue on it. Gem. It'll come off. Now I'm just gonna take this. I don't think this has any stickiness to it. Oh. I think they just put a little lamination on it so it doesn't fray when they cut it. And I'm just gonna put a flower here or to the right. Oh, I wanted to. I don't even know where that went. I had that little green piece for the leaf to make it look like there's a leaf. And now I don't know where it is. <sighs> and it was a scrap, so now I have that scrap still. Anyway, we could cut another piece and just tuck it to make it have a little green in there. Just a hint of green. The leaf. Maybe I should do another one. Is that one longer? Here, let's put this one over here, sticking out, and then this one over here, sticking out. Now I'm thinking I might need more glue, probably don't, but just to make sure. And you gotta have it between the petals, of course. I'm gonna have to adjust that. Here, let's put this one up here, it looks better. Just to add a little green behind it. Now I'm gonna fix that. It just has a little green, is that too long? I'm thinking it is. Let's tuck that in more. And move it back over here. Hopefully that one's not screwed up now. There. Make sure I don't hit my gem in the middle because I'll push it off again. And there you go. You like? Good way to use up your scraps. And there's that pocket. And then when the, I think that's dry. Let me check on the paint. Alright, beautiful beings. If I zoom you in, there we go. And hopefully I remember. There's a line here, so I'll remember. <laughs> Not to go below that, but I kind of had an idea. I just want to see what it looks like. I don't know if it looks better than that. But I kind of wanted to put some of this here in places. And then I just cut it off. I'm gonna glue this down. I don't know which side, maybe this side, the inside of the cup, cupcake holder. I don't know. Just 
trying something new. Just experiment. I got glue on my fingers. Just experiment, beautiful beings. Different ideas. Cut that. Cut that there and cut that down here. So those pieces here are junk. And now I got glue on my scissors. Or is that paint? Nope, that's paint. I'm gonna take another piece. Maybe stick it over here. Glue off there. Or I can just stick it here. It wouldn't be in the way to talk, so let's stick that there. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm not really going anywhere with this. And I haven't thought it out past this. <laughs> so Paint again. Now I kind of think we need a piece here. So let's do it. Now what, beautiful beings? I just want to add some white because there's white in the sky. But what do we add now? Let's see. What do we add now? This is going nicely. I don't want to put flowers on everything. I got this. Let's put this here to hide that edge. My fabric scissors for that. Snipped right on the end. My other scissors, <laughs> my other scissors wouldn't have done that. Let's put some up there, but I'm gonna have to measure this and then cut it because I might have a hard time cutting it off there. So I'm gonna cut it right there. Can you see it if I turn it sideways? Yep. Still getting used to the new camera holder, beautiful things. Alright, I'm gonna put the fray on the inside. This is Dollar Tree, too, remember? I cut it in half. If you haven't seen it, it's cut in half. I cut my Dollar Tree lace in half sometimes. Alright, and then this one's gonna go down here. And I want the cut part in. kind of looks just all right the way it is, but I'm thinking it might need something, one more thing on these. I'm not sure what. We could even take a stamp and stamp a saying on there. I think we might do that, but I want something, one more. Would this look wrong with there? Or maybe this. Do that before it glues. I like that. 
Let's put it right underneath the waist. Is that too big though? Should I cut it in half? Let's cut it in half. I like it, I like it, I like it. I probably should have did that before I cut it. That's right. Just a little tuck under there. Because after all, there's brown, so it goes brown, white, brown. Over, down. Might have to put some glue on there. Underneath here, I'm gonna have to. beautiful beings and to touch the color finishes it I think and we have to have some up here let's flip this over put just a little bit more glue let go of me <laughs> doesn't want to let go and then just a little thin 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 Glue, some glue, put that up a little bit, and then put this back down. I want it up so when you tuck it doesn't go in. Get tucked in. Cut that off. And then over here and I think it's done and then we just add a word and this one's done for beans just measure it. go up and down where'd I cut it right there a little bit more I'm gonna take this one off. Put a little bit more glue there. It looks a little longer. do now we need a word what stamp are we gonna use for a word okay beautiful beings I have technique Tuesday and just so if you know if you rip your packaging rips <laughs> you can always put washi tape around it and put it back together okay, let's see I see it. Inhale confidence. Goes there. Every day is a fresh start. Found it, beautiful beings. So we're gonna get our... Okay. Now I'm gonna use she use brown. I want to stamp it on here. Let's use brown. All right. Boy, this camera holder really wobbles. All right. It's great for when I'm doing something that's big, though, and just do it on the floor. <laughs> All right. We're using Walnut Stain by Distress Ink. And then, of course, I got my little scrap piece of paper over here. There and it stamps perfectly. So I'm gonna take this 
And I don't know what shape to make this. I don't. I'm gonna stamp it right in the middle. I could pray. Every day is a fresh start. Okay. So let's put it on here and see how we're gonna do this. Just go like this, and then we'll check it again. But we have to have something. It's too wide. With it, I'm just gonna. Boy, that's gonna be dark, isn't it? I forgot to. Anchor. Okay, set that there for a minute. Well, let's just set it there. And I think I'm thinking a piece of lace behind it. Look at that. Yeah. I think that looks fine. Do I need a piece of the other? I have a little piece. We can just add it somewhere. Or we can just put that here like this is holding it down. Or is that going to cover it? I think that's going to cover it. There. And then maybe add this somewhere. <laughs> maybe I should put it in the middle. Kind of thick in here because this is here, and I then have two things here. But I kind of want to, I could put a piece on the end there, move it up a little. Straight. And I'm thinking we need another piece on the other end. So I'm just going to cut another piece off and put some glue on here. And then stick that in here underneath this. There we go. Got two pockets, beautiful beings. Let me know if you like it. <laughs> that was just out of the blue. Didn't have it planned. I just knew I wanted the cupcake holder in there somewhere. Let me give it a close up. I like it. Give me a close up of this. Okay. All right, beautiful beings. On to the next video. Have a wonderful everything.